Hello, Louis. <coughs> Louis, I'm in trouble. No, don't don't ask any questions. Come right over, Louis. It's desperate, Louis. Please, I'm desperate. Hurry, Louis. Please, no hurry. All right, I come right away. Goodbye. Say, please, you don't mind if my wife she shave you? Angelina, will it pass open? I'll never go to my friend. My greatest friend, Edgar Kenny, is in the trouble. And when a friend is in the trouble, they call him me, Louis Balucci, of the Neapolitan Baluchis, and to Neapolitan Balucci, a friend in the need... What is it not enough? <laughs> what is it not enough? Come in, I don't know what to do. Yes, I don't know what to do. Then let me get me, get that, and the truck You stay here. 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 You stay here. You make me sick. Hey. Oh. Do I get a shave or do I not get a shave? You will get a shave. I'm getting sick of tired of all these men. I tell you, my husband, he is a crazy. He goes blind. Honestly, Florence, I didn't do this to you on purpose. You shouldn't have gone away on your vacation and left me here all alone. Why did this have to happen to me? Louis. Eddie, what's the trouble? What's happened? I always knew you were a pal. Eddie. What's to happen? Don't be afraid from Louis. You can tell me everything. Louis Balucci is your friend. And to a Balucci, a Neapolitan Balucci, a friend in the need is a friend in the need. Come, Eddie. Tell me. What's the trouble? Louis, I'm in love. Hello. Hello, darling. Oh, Eddie, do you think my husband's going to be very mad when I tell him about us? Well, I don't care if he is. It's all his fault anyways. I never should have married a traveling salesman. Eddie, darling, you don't know what I've gone through with him. I understand you. I know what you need, and I'll give it to you. Give you all the happiness that you're entitled to. All the happiness that we're both entitled to. Now lay your little head down on your pillow and go to sleep. And everything's going to be all right. Good night, baby. Good night, sweetheart.
Lloyd. 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 Oh, I thought you'd left me flat. Oh. What's the matter? What's the trouble, Louis? Oh, I'm sick. I'm a Baluchi, and I'm a very sensitive. I hear you talk on the telephone, and you get a lover sick. I think of your wife, and of me, I get a seasick. Me too, Louis. Hey, have you lost your mind? What about your wife? Louis. That's what I sent for you for. Tell me. Tell me honestly. Can a man love two women at the same time? Not if they find out about it. Eddie, pull yourself together. Tell me, who is this woman? When do you meet her? The day before yesterday. Day before yesterday? Oh, no, you, you don't understand. You just don't understand. That's the way I do things. Lloyd, just like I lose my temper, that's the way I fall in love. The moment I met Florence, it was just like that, too. And then we were married that same night. Yes, my friend. And you are still married. Yes, I'm still married. Oh, Florence. Your poor little darling. Her whole life is wrapped up in me. If she finds out about this thing, it'll break her heart. Oh, if I had an ounce of manhood left in me, I'd break this thing off. Louis, Louis, that's why I sent for you. How can I do it? How can I do it, Louis? Answer the phone, Louis. Then, if it's Myrtle, tell her I'm not here. But, but tell her easy and nice, huh? Hello? Yes. Who? Eddie, it's for you. It's Florence. She's calling up from Wildwood Lodge. Florence. I hope she don't notice the change in me. Hello, Florence, darling. Uh, what? What? I can't hear you, dear. Edgar, I... I... Eddie, I'm in love. Oh, Edgar, he's wonderful. He has hair like Clark Gable and eyes like Robert Montgomery and a chin like Frederick Marches and, and one of those new rubber bathing suits, he looks like it's Tarzan. Stop it, stop it! I've heard enough! Uh, what night? Hair like Clark Gable. Eyes like Robert Montgomery and chin like Frederick March. What's a happen? Or what's the matter? What did she say? She said he's got hair like Clark Gable, eyes like Robin Montgomery, and a chin like Frederick March, and in a bathing suit he looks like Tarzan. Now do you understand? Oh, Mamma Mia! Magister of Wonder, she bought some men! There now, baby! That's the boy! Now, steady! Steady! <laughs> Uh, what's the use of practicing a stroke? You gotta have a horse to play a game like this. Oh, Mother. He hung up on me. He really believes I've fallen in love with another man. Oh, there, <laughs> there. Now, darling, you just leave everything to Mother. Yeah, Mother knows best. Brother, I'll have none of your sarcasm. And if you didn't Yes, think of yes, it, yes, I know. I would have amounted to something. You would have. <laughs> and Florence. When Mrs. Gogol phoned that Edgar was running around with Myrtle Miller, oh. you 
begged Brother and me to give you our advice, and we did. And Edgar Kennedy is no different than any other man. No, he's a pushover. I don't care what either of you say. I'm going to pack my face and go home. I love Edgar, and I'm not going to lose him. Stop complaining, my friend. If you want to win it back to your wife, you must look like you're not. You got to know head like Clark Gable. And you got to know chin like Vettel, you much. But don't worry, my friend. I'll fix you up. I give you a chest like that down. Listen, Lori. Do you think I can win her back? Ah, uh, you do what Louis Baluchi say and poof, it is over. I'll do anything you say, Louis. All right. You, you, you watch me. Yeah. I'll show you how. I got experience. That is only the first step. Then when she comes to you, you grab her and you kiss her like this. <laughs> After you kiss her, you then have her in your power. She's yours. Then you can be gentle. But first, you must be forceful. Remember, you are a man, she is a woman. And a woman must be denominated. Hey, stop it, so. Uh, I must be denominated. Go, you, 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 Hello. Oh, hello, Myrtle. Your little baby can't sleep. Won't her little Eddie tell him's little sweetums a good night story? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was itty bitty mousy. An itty bitty mousy was nibbling at an itty bitty piece of cheese. Now the itty bitty mousy didn't know that right behind them was a great big pussy cat. Now, the great big pussy cat thought. He was going to catch the little mousy. But the little mousy fooled a great big pussycat and is going right on fooling the great big pussycat. Do you understand? Mrs. Kennedy's cabin and telling her that an old friend is here to see her? Mrs. Kennedy? Oh, Mrs. Kennedy checked out this morning. She left for the city about an hour ago. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, why would Lodge? Uh, has there been a fellow up there this morning looking for Mrs. Kennedy? You know, a kind of a, a fat, bald-headed, uh, sloppy-looking guy? No. There was no one here like that. There was a young man here, though, very distinguished-looking. Said he was a friend of Mrs. Kennedy's. He left a long time ago, though. No, no, that, that couldn't have been him. Thanks. Thanks. No, he hasn't been up there. Oh, I've lost him! I've lost him! <laughs> well, suppose you have lost him. You haven't lost anything. Let him have his myrtle. It's good riddance to bad rubbish. I don't care what he's done. If it only comes back, I'd forgive him. Oh, <laughs> don't be a fool. I can't help it. I shouldn't have lied to him. I should never have told him about Tarzan. I should have come back when I heard about him. Yeah, well, I, I thought it was a good idea. Yes, you did. It's all your fault in the first place. Oh, I don't know what you've done, but you made me lose anger. I've lost everything, oh. and you've done it. All oh, right, I washed my hands of the whole affair. After this, use your own judgment. Don't you hear? You shouldn't talk to a brother like that. He did the best. Well, now, listen, if he's taken the wrong step, you can get my advice. Well, now, listen here. Just a moment. Let me tell you. Come here. 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 Come Honey, <laughs> come. Oh, Edgar. <laughs> oh, Edgar. Will you ever forgive me for telling you those awful lies? What? I didn't meet anybody in the moonlight. There wasn't any Clark Gable or Bob Montgomery or Freddie Marchant. There wasn't any Carson. There wasn't anybody, Edgar, but just you. There's nobody, Florence, but just you. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> you! 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 Where is everybody? Oh, there you are. Hello, everybody. Are you Mrs. Kennedy? Uh, yes. Charmed, I'm sure. And uh, you, Mr. Kennedy? Yeah. How do you do? I'm very glad to know you. Uh, I'm Myrtle Miller's husband. Oh. I just dropped in, Mr. Kennedy, to say hello. I, uh, I thought you might be interested to know that uh, Myrtle and I are uh, going to Honolulu on our second honeymoon. We may come back, and uh, we may not come back. But uh, just in case we do come back, Mr. Kennedy, will you remember this? Sure. Keep away from my wife. Oh. I, uh, I hope you'll pardon the intrusion. Uh, good afternoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh. Oh, Edgar, are you hurt? Did he hurt you when he hit you in the nose? There you are. You see, I can't even go away for a few days that you don't get yourself punched in the nose. 